Welcome to Team Colleton's presentation for Advanced Debt Accreditation 2013. This presentation is an overview of our district self-study, including our identified strengths and challenges, in preparation for a formal review of our system by an external review team scheduled April 14 through 17, 2013. This presentation is narrated by me, Katherine Turner, Advanced Ed Contact for the District, and Shelby Simmons, Title I Parent Involvement Coordinator. If you have any questions about our presentation or Colleton County Schools, contact information will be provided at the end of this presentation. Please enjoy. Joshua Brunton. I'm a sophomore at Collins County High School and I am Team Collins. We are Collins County Middle and we are Team Collins. We love our school and we're on the team. And I'm on Team Carlton, alright? <laughs> we are the Honeybees! Go Team Carlton! Woo! You already know what it is, 2013. We see you, we on Team Carlton, baby. Team Carlton! <laughs> <laughs> Collin County, South Carolina is located in the Low Country and is bordered by Allendale, Bamberg, Beaufort, Charleston, Dorchester, Hampton, Jasper, and Orangeburg counties. The county encompasses over 1,055 square miles and includes Walterboro, the county seat, and rural communities including Bells, Bennett's Point, Kennedy's, Cottageville, Edisto Beach, Givans, Green Pond, Hendersonville, Islandton, Jacksonboro, Lodge, Ruffin, Smokes, and Whitehall. 71% of our population live in a rural non-farm setting. About 3% live on farms, and approximately 26% live in a more urban environment. Construction is the largest industry in Colton County, followed by services such as health, education, and retail. The median household income from the county is approximately $31,700, more than $12,000 less than the median income from South Carolina. 22.8% of residents live below the poverty level. Cotton County School District serves approximately 6,127 students in grades pre-kindergarten through 12 in 10 schools. Black Street Early Childhood Center that serves four and five-year-old students in Walterboro and students ages three through five with developmental disabilities. Bells, Cottageville, Forest Hills, Edisto Beach, Hendersonville, and Northside are our elementary schools. Colleton County Middle School, Colleton County High School, and Thunderbolt Career and Technology Center serve all other students. The three-year average of pass and map data indicates improvement in all of our schools. The 2012 South Carolina Report Card for our district indicates an average rating for both absolute and growth ratings. The ESA rating system awarded the district an overall score of 78.8, which is a C. The overall grades for our schools were 91.1, an A for elementary, 70.1, a C for the middle school, and 62, a D for the high school. Cottageville and Forest Hills Elementary Schools were recognized by the South Carolina Department of Education for Student Performance, and Hendersonville Elementary was recognized for making significant progress. 
The student population of the district is comprised of approximately 49% African American students, nearly 45% Caucasian students, and just over 6% of students are of other racial makeup. 76.54% of students receive free or reduced lunch and all but three of the district schools receive Title I funding. The 2012 South Carolina School Report Card indicates that the four-year graduation rate is 76.3%, a 1.5% increase from the year before. The dropout rate has declined from 10% in 2010 to 5% in 2012. Approximately 4,000 students, 65% of the student population, ride one of the district's 87 school buses to and from school daily. All of the district's buses travel over 8,200 miles total throughout the district each day. Bus rides are long. Many students get on the bus as early as 5.15 a.m. and arrive home as late as 5.30 p.m. The district employs 469 certified and 478 non-certified staff and is one of the largest employers in the county. Of the certified highly qualified staff, 51.3% have advanced degrees, 11.5% have a bachelor's degree plus 18 hours, and 39.4% have master's degrees. 21.3% have a master's degree plus 30 hours and less than 1% have doctorates. According to the South Carolina School Report Card, the district has an 88.5% retention rate for teachers over the past three years. Over 95% of our classified instructional staff members meet the highly qualified standards. Staff members who have not met that level are receiving professional development to ensure that 100% of instructional staff is highly qualified. Colleton also has 28 teachers who have achieved National Board certification. There are several initiatives that the district has implemented to address the major academic and disciplinary concerns. These initiatives include PBIS, or Positive Behavior Intervention Systems, EDI, Writ Band Instruction, PLCs, Common Planning, Common Assessments, Data Walls, and Notebooks. They may look a little different on each campus or at each level, but the rationales are all the same and all support student achievement. Colleton County has implemented a district-wide full-day pre-kindergarten and kindergarten program at Black Street Early Childhood Center, Bells, Cottageville, and Hendersonville Elementary Schools. Each elementary school has a curriculum instructional coach to monitor instruction, provide staff development and coaching sessions, and to develop common assessments to monitor progress of student achievement. Bells and Hendersonville Elementary Schools are piloting the South Carolina Teacher and Student Advancement Program SETAP, in the district. This program builds competence and capacity within the school for the development of teacher leaders focused on continuous improvement in the craft and science of teaching. In 2011, Colleton Middle, Forest Circle Middle, and Ruffin Middle Schools merged into one school with three smaller learning communities. Colleton County Middle School, one of the largest middle schools in the state. Each school of study incorporates STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, along with a specific theme. The 6th grade Tuskegee Learning Community fuses the STEM disciplines with 21st century survival skills for success in college, career, and life interactions. In the 7th and 8th grades, the Natural Resource School is designed to integrate wildlife, natural resources, outdoor skills, and conservation education. And the Low Country School of the Arts is a place where the arts are infused throughout the school culture and core classes. Colleton County High School is in its second year in its new state-of-the-art building and is divided into six smaller learning communities that are built around a college and career-ready curriculum. The Cougar New Tech community will bring cutting-edge technology and real-world experience together to challenge students to achieve new levels of success. All schools use the Positive Behavioral Interventions and Supports program and can document improvement in student behavior and a decrease in the number of discipline referrals. We value parental involvement and our stakeholders participate in committees to address district concerns 
such as the Dropout Prevention Committee, the Comprehensive Health Advisory Committee, the Title I District Committee, and the Bully Prevention Task Force. Moreover, the Title I Office's Parent Involvement Program updates websites and social media to share information and strategies with parents, as well as holding classes for parents at each of the Title I schools on topics requested via survey by parents. Through First Book and other partners, the Parent Involvement Program has distributed over 4,500 books to parents to enlarge home libraries and incentivize parental attendance at school events. We also encourage parents to volunteer. Overall, the small size of our district is one of our greatest strengths as a school system. We take advantage of opportunities to build relationships and form partnerships with colleagues, our students, and their parents, enhancing the all-around educational program in Cotton County Schools. The mission of Carlton County School District is to ensure that all students meet or exceed state standards in preparation to become productive citizens. We believe all students can learn and can be motivated to do so. The district, schools, parents, and students are accountable for achievement goals. Data must be reviewed to plan instruction and monitor progress. All students must be taught by highly qualified staff. Staff development is important to improving instructional effectiveness. Frequent instructional feedback will improve teaching. Positive homeschool relations and the climate of high expectations promote excellence. All students deserve equal opportunity for a quality education in a safe environment. All people are worthy of respect. They can become productive citizens. Standard 1. Purpose and Direction. The system maintains and communicates at all levels of the organization a purpose and direction for continuous improvement that commits to high expectations for learning as well as shared values and beliefs about teaching and learning. College and County School District rated itself as a 2.75 in this standard out of a possible four points. Our focus is students and their success. Department and school missions all share that focus, as you will see in a moment. They are based on shared beliefs about teaching and learning. These are our missions. We have chosen and accepted these missions to provide a world-class education to our students.
Colleton County School District has identified several strengths in Standard 1. We are governed and guided by Colleton County School Board policies and our focus is student achievement. We are a collaborative district, collaborating within schools and across the district, not only about our mission and beliefs, but we talk about day-to-day -day operations and we do trust one another. We've even developed new and more effective ways beyond notes and phone calls home to reach our public. Facebook, Twitter, and texting through Remind101.com are just three examples. We also promote stakeholders to partner with us, and we look for ways to even increase that capacity. We offer folks the opportunity to mentor students. We offer folks the opportunity to participate in our retreats for young men and young ladies. We've also increased our capacity with our ministerial alliance in our county. And we offer a Principal for a Day program, which is an opportunity for local business and community leaders to spend a day in the principal's shoes. Working collaboratively with stakeholders does promote our educational mission. Our district has identified some challenges that we would like to work into opportunities for improvement. Advanced Ed has required that we take a critical look at all of our processes. We know that we want greater participation from parents, business partners, and the community, and it's a challenge for all of us. Parent involvement is pretty good at the elementary levels, but it dwindles at the upper grades. We will not give up trying to increase involvement at those upper grades, and we're always looking for solutions. We have lots of information going out from schools, and sometimes that is overwhelming and intimidating to some parents. Our challenge is to increase their access to that information. But at the same time, we lack what other community, communities have, radio and television coverage. We look for solutions around that hurdle. We are always looking for more effective means to communicate our mission of excellence. On behalf of the Carlton County School Board, we are very appreciative of the advanced data accreditation team coming to our community, to our school district. We look forward to working with you with a uh, hope and a goal of uh, achieving success. And we thank you and wish you well. Receiving advanced ed accreditation affirms that Carlton County is a quality educational district focused on achievement and continuous improvement. Through the advanced ed certification process, Team Colleton is demonstrating our commitment to continuous improvement. With advanced ed accreditation, we are providing our students with a world-class education. We know in Carlton County that we're doing great things for education. This advanced ed process will let the world know who we are and what we're doing to advance education in our county. Through Advanced Ed's Continuous Improvement Model, our district will be ranked amongst districts around the world. Accreditation matters because our students deserve the highest level of educational quality. Standard 2, Governance and Leadership. Our system promotes and supports student performance and system effectiveness. College and County School District rated itself as a 3 in this standard. Colleton County has identified several strengths in Standard 2. Our board is cooperative and supportive, not only of one another, but they are also supportive of the district leadership and our schools. They are visible at school and community events, and they want to be kept abreast of all initiatives and best practices being utilized in the district, and they request this information frequently. They are also very experienced. Two of our board members were former teachers and two of our board members have more than 25 years of experience on the board. All board members are open and receptive to parents and community and they conduct community outreach efforts. They also are receptive to current trends and needs. And finally, they also rotate their leadership on the board. Colleton County has identified challenges that we are working to improve. Our goal is to provide a world-class education despite constraints upon our budget. We would like to greater stakeholder attendance at board meetings, district meetings, and school meetings. This alone would improve our ability to disseminate information. We also have the challenge to support our staff for even higher academic standards. 
and also we would like to improve and enhance and expand an arts curriculum district-wide. Team Colleton, focused on student achievement. Go Team Colleton! Hi, I'm Miss Green and I'm on Team Colleton. We're on Team Colleton. I'm on Team Colleton. I'm on Team Colleton. Team Colleton, focused on teacher quality. We're on Team Colleton. We're on Team Colleton. Hi, I'm William Sutton and I'm on Team Colleton. Uh, we on Team Colleton. Team Carlton. Hi, I teach at Carlton County High School, and I'm with Team Carlton. We are on Team Carlton. I'm on Team Carlton. Hi, I'm Paula Gupta. I teach at Carlton County Middle School, and I represent Team Carlton. Go Team Carlton! I'm on Team Carlton. Hi, I'm Patrick Thomas. I am on Team Carlton, and I teach language arts here at Carlton County High School. I'm Sam G. Swafford, and I'm on Team Carlton. We're guidance counselors, and we're on Team Colleton. I am Valerie Singleton, and I am on Team Colleton. Woohoo! <laughs> Standard 3 Teaching and Assessing for Learning. The system's curriculum, instructional design, and assessment practices guide and ensure teacher effectiveness and student learning across all grades and courses. The Colton County School District has rated itself a 3. We have identified many strengths both at the elementary and middle school levels. First, progress monitoring in core subject areas. We administer formative assessments at all grade levels. Systemic formative assessments for us are a temperature check to monitor the quality of instruction and student learning. This assessment system uses questions that have pass-like rigor and question styles. Our elementary schools use a form of formative assessment we call progress monitoring. These are quick checkups ranging from 10 to 20 questions focused on standards taught. Progress monitoring is scheduled by the district for consistency. Standards causing problems for students will be spiraled back on future progress monitoring tests. Our middle and high school formative assessments are called common assessments and are developed by teachers using pacing guides. All of the core teachers for a grade level and subject administer the same assessment as scheduled by the school. Common assessments are not given as frequently as progress monitoring. Data Collection and Analysis Data analysis is part of our culture. Data are collected from progress monitoring, Domini reading and writing assessments, and report cards. After each progress monitoring test, the teachers work up an item analysis and reflect on the class results. After reflecting, the teachers write their plans to address concerns identified by the assessment. The elementary and middle school also use MAP as a formative assessment. The results are shared with teachers along with students' expected gains. MAP RIP Band information guides schools and teachers in providing targeted instruction. Common assessment results at the middle and high schools are analyzed by general results and demographics. The middle school reviews the results as a team during a professional development period. The high school reports the results to departments by means of a curriculum assessment talk also known as a CAT session. Our analysis of data also informs differentiated instruction by helping us develop our instructional groupings. Differentiated instruction is provided to individuals and small groups both in push-in and pull-out. The purpose of differentiating instruction is to tailor student learning to maximize achievement. Differentiated instruction is provided by the classroom teacher and or other teachers as interventionists or tutors. Differentiated instruction is strongest at the elementary level. Our middle and high school are organized by small learning communities called houses. Each house has a career or interest theme and teachers try to make instruction relevant to the themes of the houses. 
STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math instruction is at the focus of the middle school. STEM instruction is intended to have higher levels of engagement, rigor, collaboration, and real-world connections. STEM projects involve an entire pod and possibly even an entire grade level. Teachers select a big idea that runs through each curricular area and design complementary lessons around that big idea. Houses at the middle and high school levels are doing cross-curricular units as well. For example, at the high school, an English teacher and social studies teacher will work together to teach a topic, such as the Civil War. The English and social studies reinforcing one another increases the likelihood of students being better prepared for the HSAP or end of course exams. Next school year will mark the creation of a new house, the Cotton County High School New Tech High School Initiative, where students have volunteered to participate in technology intensive real life simulations throughout their high school career. Listed last, but by no means least, is professional development, which is on site, embedded, and ongoing. Staff development is supported by instructional facilitators at the elementary and middle schools. Data analysis, teacher reflection, and collaboration are supportive elements to our professional development. Principals, as instructional leaders, and our curriculum coaches determine the needs of the staff and plan professional development to meet those needs. Collaborative planning takes place during grade level meetings, extended planning, and faculty meetings. By differentiating our professional development, each school is able to meet the needs of its teachers and paraprofessionals. Our middle and high schools place more emphasis on the professional learning team and professional learning community concepts. Teacher growth is supported by other teachers as they collaboratively manage innovation and change. Of course, there are times when we offer district-level professional development, such as at the beginning and end of the school year, or as needs are identified. For example, in October, a workshop was held for the fifth grade math teachers to provide assistance to them with the use of math manipulatives with the new Common Core State Standards. And as always, we still support teachers going to conferences with the expectation of that new information gained being shared with their learning communities. At the elementary, middle, and high school levels, we accept the challenge to continuously improve the instruction that we provide to each student. This is a challenge with several components. First, we must provide for remediation or acceleration for all students. Remediation is provided individually and in small groups. Each elementary school has at least one interventionist who serves our most fragile learners. Once the interventionist schedule is full, the remediation falls to the classroom teacher. Careful planning is a must to ensure that all students receive remediation or acceleration based on their needs. Next, providing sufficient time for collaboration and planning. Time is always an issue. Careful planning and scheduling ensures that time is provided for collaborative planning. Aligning materials to the Common Core State Standards Aligning our current instructional materials to the Common Core State Standards will improve both the rigor of instruction as well as the rigor of assessment. We will use collaborative planning time to marshal our resources to ensure that any materials purchased are aligned to these Common Core State Standards so that we spend our money wisely. Providing instructional support for lesson planning and resources. With the transition to Common Core State Standards, instructional support for teachers is crucial. Presently, each elementary school has one instructional coach who provides professional development and instructional support for teachers in all subject areas. This instructional support must be provided in order to sustain quality education. Another challenge is to maximize the instructional benefit of technology. Our school district has the infrastructure in place to support current technology. However, our challenge is to keep our software and hardware up to date. Technology is constantly changing and the district must plan accordingly to ensure that our students have the technological skills needed to be successful as they pursue higher education or 
the modern workplace. It is a long-standing goal of the district to maintain small class sizes. Collin County School District recognizes the value of small class sizes and plans accordingly. The class sizes in the district are smaller than those found in our neighboring districts, and these smaller class sizes not only allow for better instruction, but allow teachers to develop and foster relationships with both students and parents. Year after year, our teacher survey results indicate teachers expect more in parental involvement. We want our parents to be our allies as we focus on our mission. We will continue to expect our educators to involve parents and other stakeholders in the process of educating our students, and we look forward to increasing parental involvement at all of our schools. Hi, I'm Katherine Turner. I'm the Advanced Ed District Contact, and I'm on Team Colleton. Welcome to Team Colleton. We help hire the best teachers and support staff, and we're on Team Colleton. We make the best food to fuel Team Colleton. Go Team Colleton. We're, we're on, on Team, team Colleton. Colleton. My name is Ramona Barrett. I'm with the Finance Department, and I'm on Team Colleton. Hi, I'm Penny and I work in the Finance Department. Go Team Colleton! Good evening, my name is Kim Bryant. I'm Director of Special Services and I'm on Team Colleton. Go Team Colleton! Join us on Team Colleton. I'm on Team Colleton. Go Team Colleton! Team Colleton. We're on a mission of excellence. Standard 4. Resources and Support Systems. The system has resources and provides services in all schools that support its purpose and direction to ensure success for all students. Colleton County School District rated itself as a 3 in Standard 4. Collin County School District has many strengths in Standard 4. District leadership is committed to recruiting, employing, and retaining quality professional and support staff. 97.5% of the certified staff are highly qualified teachers, and 100% of our paraprofessionals are highly qualified according to the No Child Left Behind highly qualified requirements. The district works throughout the year to recruit highly qualified certified teachers and support personnel. Each spring a teacher recruitment fair is held in the district. In addition, District leaders attend and participate in various career fairs at colleges and universities throughout the state and country. Retaining excellent teaching and instructional staff is as important as recruiting them. Each first-year teacher is assigned a mentor. Mentors observe and meet with first-year teachers at least twice a month to offer support. First-year teachers also attend monthly induction classes that are tailored to specific professional needs of a beginning teacher. Veteran teachers new to the district are assigned building level partners to assist in learning the ropes in their new environments. One of the goals of Colleton County School District is to annually develop a sound fiscal plan within the framework provided by the State Department of Education guidelines and funding provided by local, state, and federal agencies. The Board of Trustees is committed to fiscal accountability to the citizens of Colleton County. Financial policies and procedures that utilize sound accounting practices guide the work of the Office of Finance and district and school leaders. The Office of Finance produces a comprehensive annual financial report annually. This report is comprehensive, reporting all revenues and expenditures. It also includes a detailed account of salaries for instructional and non-instructional personnel at each level of operation. Additionally, information regarding departmental and school expenditures are made available monthly on the district website. A computerized financial accounting system allows authorized staff members to manage various accounts. The district is committed to the safety and security of staff and students. District policies and procedures provide the foundation for safe, orderly, and healthy schools that provide a positive and caring learning environment for students. At the school level, all visitors must sign in and out through the main office. A district crisis manual serves as the foundation for each school's crisis plan. School staff review and practice safety drills as outlined in the district policies and procedures. 
the middle and high schools have school resource officers on the pre premises. Under the district facility plan, we have built three new elementary schools, a new high school with an athletic complex, and renovated the old high school into a middle school. Plans are now under review to build a new school to replace Bell's Elementary School and to consolidate the district operations on one site. Collin County School District provides a variety of support systems that promote reinforced learning for all students, including student health, comprehensive guidance, child nutrition, transportation, technology, and other support services for students with disabilities. The district provides a nurse for each school who is responsible for conducting health screenings, administering medications, and assisting with medical emergencies. Guidance counselors are employed at each school to promote student growth in personal, social, academic, and career competencies. The Food Service Department provides breakfast and lunch for students in accordance with the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the U.S. Department of Education regulations. Cafeterias are inspected by DHEC to ensure a safe and healthy environment. Appropriate transportation is provided to students across the district on a daily basis. The Transportation Office works closely with schools to reinforce safety and promote appropriate bus behavior. Transportation services play an important role in promoting student learning by providing safe transport to and from school, on field trips, athletic events, and academic programs and activities. Technology is an integral component in overall student development. Calden County School District maintains a technology plan with a goal of establishing and maintaining a quality infrastructure in all schools. The district invests in continuous improvement in the technology infrastructure and equipment to support the system's teaching, learning, and operational needs. Every district classroom is equipped with instructional technology, including smart boards, projectors, IP phones, while many classrooms have voice amplification systems, document cameras, and student response systems to aid teaching and learning. The district has qualified technical support staff to meet the teaching, learning, and operational needs of all stakeholders throughout the system. We constantly seek opportunities to upgrade technology, identify training needs, and to improve our ability to respond to the technological needs of the district. The Office of Special Services has developed procedures to assess the comprehensive needs of students with special needs. The needs of students are addressed and served through a host of programs, related services, and specialized instruction. Special Education Service personnel provide individual services to students and serve as members of student intervention teams and individualized educational program teams and offer expertise to increase the academic achievement, social competence, and health of students with special learning needs. The Adult Education Program supports rigorous and relevant instruction through support, supporting sustained initiatives. There is a strong partnership with the high school to support students who need instructional support during the summer and after graduation. Currently, the leaders are in the process of becoming an official Pearson Testing Center to provide GED tests. Challenges that the school district faces in Standard 4 are no different from challenges faced in other districts. These challenges provide us opportunities to be creative. One, we must continue to look for ways to maintain our level of services despite declining funding. Another challenge is to be able to predict future staffing needs to meet the educational needs of our students. And a third challenge is ensuring that the available technology meets the needs of tomorrow's students.
Standard 5 Using Results for Continuous Improvement The system implements a comprehensive assessment system that generates a range of data about student learning and system effectiveness and uses the results to guide continuous improvement. The Colleton County School District has rated itself 2.8. We have identified several strengths. First, our culture of using data to guide instruction and decisions. Over the course of the last several years, gathering assessment data has become part of our culture. We have a bank of assessment data on students. We keep data on everything from how clean our schools are, how many lunches were fed, to what students ate, how many students were absent each day, and how much money we've spent. We have a focus on being information rich. We gather data from a wide variety of sources. Our formative assessments help us guide instruction. Our summative assessments let us know how well our students have retained their learning. We understand that there is not a time limit on when students have to learn a skill or concept and that information needs to be presented in a format that students are able to understand. We use data collected from surveys of teachers, parents, and students. In fact, our state mandates a survey of parents, teachers, and students and reports the results on each school's report card. Administrators review the school and district results and use the findings in school renewal plans. Our staff development is based on data from the Needs Assessment Survey, which provides the district and schools with insight as to teachers' staff development interests, the effectiveness of instructional and support programs, and the general mood of staff. Progress monitoring and common assessments are a part of the assessments either created by teachers or used to improve teacher skills in the art and science of teaching. We have also identified a variety of challenges and opportunities. First, electronic standardized assessments. As our state moves on to Common Core state standards, the goal is to have students take their tests electronically. The commercial programs that currently exist for teaching and assessment are generally electronic, and so our challenge is to have appropriate technology in place in our schools so our students and teachers can benefit from those resources. Next, using one data bank to store all assessments. Our state is moving toward a single program that will store all student assessment data. Until that program is in place, we need to manage what we have to make data available to teachers. Next, use of Common Core State Standards data provided by Smarter Balance in the assessment plan. That is both a technical challenge and a logistical one. Finally, formal staff development on data for paraprofessionals. Our overall rating for this standard was a 2.8. However, we rated ourselves a 2 on data training for support staff, specifically teachers' aides. Currently, the training for instructional support staff is embedded in the job and delivered by school-level staff. However, Indicator 5.3 raised the concern that we need to have a more formalized staff development program for teacher aides. This staff development could include a focus on data, but is not limited to it. This is especially true if we recognize data as going beyond data from assessments. One example of that may be how the students interact with one another and its impact on classroom management and performance. Go he goes to Bill. Good student, good student. Go Team Colleton! For a sister elementary, we own Team Colleton. Hi, I'm Lakeisha Jamison. My name is Laura Jamison. I'm the SIC chairperson. Go Team Colleton! Go Team Colleton! On behalf of all the schools, students, administrators, staff, and parents of the Colton County School District, thank you for viewing our presentation. If you have any questions or require any information, please contact us using the information available on your screen.